Alright, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I want to basically show off how to use um, colon wait. And what this basically does, if you don't know, is waits for an event to happen. So what I'm going to do uh, for my first example is I'm just going to go ahead and create like a number value or something. And I'll call this local number equals um, script.parent.value. And then what you can do is basically say number dot um, changed colon wait. And this will basically yield your script until this number changes. So to prove this, I'm actually going to say print um, changed or um, continued script. And yeah, what we're going to do is go ahead and join this game. And you'll see it is nowhere to be found yet. And actually, what? How did I mess that up already? <laughs> um. All right. So I guess I just didn't load, or something. <laughs> Script up parent wait for child value. I'll do that. And then you should be able to see it in just a second. And so now we don't have any errors. Let's hope we don't get a wait um, issue here. I think we're good now. I think that it got the value. Yeah, it should be fine. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is change this value. And you can see it didn't print yet. Uh, so I'll change it to 1. And it says continued script. So basically, what colon wait does is basically, as I said, it waits for an event to happen. And this is pretty useful for a lot of things, a lot of use cases. Like, for example, if you are um, creating, like, you have a frame on your screen and you're asking for a person to input a value, and then you can basically have an error, and then as, as soon as the text changes in that text box that they were entering it in, uh, you can basically just get rid of it. There's, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this, and... Yeah, it works with basically every default Roblox function or event, as far as I know. So let's say you want to do number, um, get attribute change signal, and I'll say yes. And yeah, what we'll go ahead and do is just have a wait on this, and I believe this should work. We'll see, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go into here, I'm going to add an attribute to this called yes, and it says continued script. If it was there already, it wouldn't have changed until I um, changed this value, though. So, yeah, with that, um, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, as well as turning on post notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And doing that will support the channel. And if you want to learn more things about Roblox scripting, then go ahead and check out my channel and you will see more. And with that, as I said, that's the end of the video. Goodbye.